Since the inception of the format, I have had the pleasure of working as a mixing and mastering engineer in the Sony 360 Reality Audio Immersive Audio format. This format is also object-based, and therefore we're working in a speaker system for mixing and production, but also considering multiple translation uh, concepts, including soundbars and headphones. So like Dolby Atmos, we're working in a speaker environment, but we're really conceiving of, of an immersive sphere that's going to be delivered uh, in various ways to consumers. It's a really unique opportunity to work in this format because the speaker array, as well as the headphone algorithm, is based off of this 13-channel system. And the 13-channel system actually has three lower-level speakers in the front, three main-level speakers in the front, and three upper-level speakers in the front, as well as two rear surrounds in the main layer and two upper surrounds in the rear layer as well. So we have lower level left, center, and right, main level left, center, and right, and upper level left, center, and right in front of us. So we have nine speakers, this beautiful dome of sound. And then behind us, uh, we have our left surround, right surround, uh, which is acting sort of like how traditional 5.1 speakers, roughly around that 110 degree angle, so just behind us, uh, and then our upper height left surround and, and uh, right rear height surround. So it's this 13-channel system, and unlike Dolby Atmos, this format does not have a low-frequency effects channel or an LFE. So the subwoofer I have here uh, accompanying this Genelec system is just uh, acting as bass management. Now, in terms of how I integrate this system in the same room, is once I started working in the format a lot about four years ago, I you know acquired these speakers and dedicated this half of the room to my Sony work. I didn't want to set up a new computer and a new interface and new digital audio converters, etc. So I'm using the AES outputs off of the Avid Matrix 2 to run lines down here into the Genelec 8330s, and I'm feeding them digitally. And then the conversion's happening at the speaker so I already had an AES card with, you know, 16 outs. So I'm able to feed this whole system uh, off of the same uh, matrix that I'm feeding the whole uh, Atmos system and stereo system on the other part of the room. So that's a fantastic integration because now everything's also communicating with HDX and Dadman and allows me to use my Trinov to tune the system just the same as on that side. So it's its own, of course, uh, specific routing channels via Dante and... Uh, HDX and Dadman, but it's all within the same system. And I can just pull Dadman up on this screen. And it's essentially like I'm working at a new station over here, despite the fact that the computer and interface are at the other end of the room. For the screens, what I do is I just have an HDMI splitter on my left and right screen, and I just duplicate the signals to this side. So when I sit down with a wireless mouse and a wireless keyboard and my trackpad, I'm actually controlling the computer on the other half of the room and just working as though this was my main desk. So it's a pretty ergonomic way to fit another 13 speakers, well, 14 in total actually, uh, into the room. And I have been really inspired to be working with artists from around the world. I've had the opportunity of working on hundreds and hundreds of tracks in the format. And most recently, a really exciting one was spatially remixing Olivia Rodrigo's Guts album, including the most recent um, Guts Spilled Deluxe Edition in the Sony 360 format. It's an incredible opportunity to get to work in another immersive audio format and just continue to expand my own perception of what immersive audio is uh, and help artists to realize their music in it.